Okay, so in this video, I'm going to tell you how you can use the Babel to transform the files, JavaScript files. So main reason why we need to transform the files is because older browsers do not understand the new syntax of JavaScript. Like in 2015, a lot of uh, new things were introduced in the JavaScript language, like class keyword, and then there is a late keyword, const keyword, all these keywords were added or introduced into the JavaScript specifications. But the thing is that older browsers wouldn't understand those new syntaxes. And that's why we have to transform the JavaScript files that are written using this new advanced uh, syntax. And we need to transfer this thing so that older browsers will understand those syntax. So I have got one simple file here which is using the new syntax of JavaScript like new keywords, this late and class and lots of other features have added but I'm just using this uh, for this example, I'm just uh, using this uh, particular keywords late and class and uh, What I'm going to do is I'm going to transform this using the Babel So if you look at this babel.config.json here, we can specify how we want to transform it So what I'm telling here is that okay, I want to uh, Transform this file in such a way that Firefox version 60 then Chrome 60 and Safari 11.1 would understand that so let us transform this file npx babel tame.js this is the command so this will transform the file so that these browsers will understand and this is the syntax so as you can see this user strict is added because some of these browsers would need that now let us uh, change the version of browser say chrome 30 this uh, chrome 30 version was uh, launched uh, before 2015 so it wouldn't understand this class and let so let us transform again and then see what happens. So you can see this time around, a lot of new things have been introduced. This late is removed and the pair is introduced and then class is removed instead of that function is added here. So you can see that JavaScript is transforming so that Chrome 30 would be able to execute our code. And that is the main purpose of Babel. And you can configure it from this configuration file babel.config.json. Here you can specify which browsers uh, and uh, which versions of those browsers uh, you want to target. So uh, what will happen is that Babel will take the source file and then convert it in such a way that all these browsers will understand the JavaScript. And you will need these dependencies Babel CLI core reset env and Double CLI is all uh, added twice, and then there is a Babel polyfill dependency as well. Thanks for watching this video.